Okay, so uh, last time I had talked a little about uh, dysphoria. Uh, if you didn't see that, then uh, please go to my uh, video Dysphoria and Therianthropy Part 1 and I will explain a little better. So, uh, what is dysphoria like? Why does it drive people to, to do things that many people see as crazy? I mentioned in the last video, some people self-injure because of dysphoria or they develop eating disorders. And uh, some people break the social norms of society, wearing costumes, ears, tails, anything to feel like themselves. And then there's people like uh, Stalking Cat, who is quite famous in the furry Antherian community. He has transformed his whole body to come closer to the idea of being a tiger. So if you're not Antherian, you're probably thinking, why people do this? And if you're a Therian who doesn't experience dysphoria, you might still be thinking, why people do this? It is simply that dysphoria is one of the most painful emotional experiences. It feels like being in a trap, but the trap is your own body. Imagine for a moment that you wake up one morning and someone has dressed you in a clown suit. You think, oh, haha, silly prank. You try to take off the clown suit but it won't come off. You get up in the morning, you go to work, and people are saying to you, hey, hey, nice clown suit. And you're saying, it, it's not my plan to wear this. I can't take it off. But people don't believe you because what kind of clown suit you can't take off? So they go around thinking, well, that is the kind of person who wears a clown suit. And they judge you based on that. And you feel completely that that is not your identity, but that is how people are going to see you. And you can't get dressed up or go anywhere nice because you just feel stupid. You're wearing the city clown suit. And imagine if it's something that you really think is ugly, like a particular piece of clothing. It's bad colors, it's cheap fabric, and it's, it's tight and it's hot and it pinches you in all the wrong place. It squashes your body, so it's even painful to move. And you go around and people think that is who you are the kind of person who wears that silly outfit and you don't even want to wear it you just want to take it off but you can't take it off even in the shower even your bed at night you can't take it off you're stuck with it all the time so that would be a pretty bad life huh and you would do anything to get rid of that the costumes that uh, people see as a silly are a way for us to get out of something that it feels even more silly and wrong to us, even just for a little while. And because for some of us, we feel like we live in a human suit. And it feels as ridiculous as you would feel if you were an animal suit, 